Calls for change continue in the community after three local high school students were killed in less than a month. City leaders are pledging renewed efforts against gun violence, but the community is still very much in pain. Yeah, tonight the Change Center hosting an opportunity for neighbors to make their feelings heard. Well, that is where we find our WATE 6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown. She's speaking with city and community leaders as that meeting gets underway. Jordan. Guys, that meeting is kicking off right now as we speak. You can see behind me, people are already in line getting checked in. Now, this was a community collaboration to give people who live in this area a chance to voice their anger, pain, and concerns. Now, there will be no law enforcement and no cameras. Organizers say they want this to be a safe space for people to speak freely. Now, also in attendance will be Zenobia Dobson and Terry Walker-Smith, both mothers who have been through tragedies like this before. And they tell me these conversations are tough, but they're necessary for real change. It doesn't make sense for our, our babies to keep falling victim to gun violence. And I'm here to stand in a gap for other mothers as well as myself. We have these meetings over and over and over, and it's just time to, to stop having the meetings over and over and start actions. Now, as I said, now, as I said, that's starting now. I'm going to be going inside to observe, but again, no cameras are allowed, so we'll be bringing you an update when it's all over.